All right, uh, this is a quick explanation of the long version for the uh, piston stack. Um, basically, the in the center we have two memory cells, and uh, I'll quickly demonstrate memory cells for those who don't know. Going to need that. There we go. Okay, uh, so they're really easy to build. Just uh, two blocks, torches opposite each other, red wire like so, and effectively one side's always going to be on, that's how they work. So this side's on, if I put power to this side, this side goes off, put power to this side, that side goes off. Uh, what they're useful for is uh, constantly powering something, um, but having a, a, a delay. Uh, so you can extend the delay of a button, for example, with this. So if I was to uh, place this block here, place a button on it, and wire it directly up to this powered side, and then have another uh, spur coming off the button, but this one uh, has repeaters like this. That delay the signal and come back round to the off side, like this. And then you have to uh, add some delay on these. You can extend the press of a button. So when you press it, instantly powers on, goes round, then powers off. Um, obviously, you'd have whatever it is you're powering connected to this side. So, for example, if we had that torch on the top. So it effectively extends the length of the button. You can put as many repeaters in as you like uh, to to lengthen the delay. Uh, so that's effectively what's in the middle here. Two of those. Uh, this first button, which is the up button, uh, works in exactly the same way as this here. But instead of these two wires going to the pistons, um, they go to the memory cells, which in turn are connected to the pistons. Uh, how the, the whole thing about this is um, getting the pistons to go up and down in the right order. When you want them to go up, you want the bottom one first to extend, then the top one. Uh, when you want them to go down, it's the opposite. You want the top one to come down, then the bottom one to come down, then the top one to go up and fetch the uh, stairs, which is what this button does. Uh, it comes round here to the back and splits here. This first one uh, goes to the off here, and the second one goes to the off on the other side. It's got a delay set up so that the uh, top one comes down, then the bottom one comes down. And this is just uh, to stop it hanging as before. This up around here, which is the third shoot off from the off button, is just a long delay that forces the top one to pop back up again and collect the stair that it drops. Um, it doesn't interfere with these other ones because repeaters stop power going uh, the way that the triangle isn't. Well, that was awful English, but you get what I mean. So, if I press this off button, down, up, down. So yeah, that's it. Um, the reason I wanted to build this is because I wanted uh, to make a staircase that was hidden in the floor. Uh, so it looked completely flat, you press the button, and then these ones would rise three, and then two, and then one. Preferably bigger, in fact. Uh, but the amount of wiring would be required to do that is you have a field of wiring and just one tiny staircase in the middle. So it's uh, kind of pointless, I think. I built another staircase, uh, which is equally as cool, I think. Um, I'll do a video of that at some point. Anywho, uh, there you go.